Hi everyone, in this video we are going to understand about Oracle ERP. Okay, so in previous video I have tried to explain about what is ERP, what are different processes in ERP. But in this video I am going to talk about Oracle ERP and what is journal ledger, what are sub ledgers. These are the two concepts which are used very much in the Oracle ERP which we will understand and apart from that what are the business processes involved in this journal ledger and sub ledger that also we will understand and it's a very basic thing in the oracle erp so this basic understanding i will explain you with the help of a practical example so that it becomes easy for you to understand so with that understanding let's begin so let's say there is a company called google inc and that company is using oracle erp now you should understand this that the oracle is in software okay so it's an erp software which is used to run the business so google inc uses this oracle erp to run their business and uh, we will only talk about financial modules right now so google inc uses this oracle erp software and they have financial modules in it now what are these financial modules financial modules are journal ledger payables, receivables, fixed assets, purchasing, etc. Though purchasing is not a part of uh, finance, but I have included it so that we can cover at least procure to pay cycle. So Google INC uses this Oracle ERP financial modules in their business. So if Google INC wants to purchase anything, they will use the purchasing module to raise the purchase order. Okay they will send this purchase order to the supplier and then supplier will send them the goods which they will do the receiving and after that in payables module they will create an invoice so now you understood that what is the use of purchasing module what is the use of payables module so in purchasing module we are creating a purchase order in payables module we are creating an invoice so that's the use of it then there is a fixed assets module there is a receivables module also so in fixed assets module all the assets of google INC will be captured so that module will track each and every asset of google inc so that's the use of fixed assets module same way there is a receivables module in which google INC creates its customer and raises the invoices on the customers for the services which google provides so that's the use of receivables modules now whatever the transactions are done in this modules are captured in the respective module so for example purchase order is created in purchasing module so there will be a purchase order transaction same way payables module will be used for recording the supplier invoices and this will be the invoice transaction same way if you are purchasing any fixed asset that fixed assets will be captured in fixed assets module okay so that's a fixed assets transaction same way for receivables we are giving any invoice to the customer then that invoice will be recorded in receivables so you see there are different transactions happening in each module let's say for example we are recording the supplier invoices in payables so for that there will be a journal entry accounting okay same way in receivables we are issuing a invoice to the customer so there will be an accounting entry for that as well so this transactions accounting entry is created in this modules and those accounting entries are transferred to journal ledger okay so this understanding must be there whatever the transactions we are creating in respective modules those transactions accounting entry will be generated and that accounting entry will be transferred to journal ledger module okay so now you understood what is the importance of journal ledger module so in journal ledger module we have journal entries from all the different modules so journal ledger is the main hub where all the accounting entries of different modules comes and finalized accounting entries will be seen in the journal ledger so first i would like to make you clear that there are modules there are transactions and for that transactions there is an accounting entry okay and all these modules in which transactions are happening in which accounting entry is happening these are also called sub ledger 
okay so these are the sub ledger modules in which transactions are happening and for this transaction there is an accounting entry and this accounting entry is transferred to journal ledger module this understanding has to be very very clear so there are sub ledger modules and over and above there is a journal ledger module in this journal ledger module all the sub ledger journal entries are transferred to journal ledger module okay and from then journal ledger module we have all the accounting entries from this journal ledger trial balance will be created because all the accounting balances are there in the journal ledger so that's the difference between journal ledger and sub ledger modules and in sub ledger module there are various business transactions happening and these business transactions are the business processes in erp i hope this gives you a clear cut understanding about how the oracle erp works i have just taken a very basic things just to give you a clarity how exactly this module works there are lots of things apart from whatever i have explained in this but i am trying to create a base of uh, understanding so that you can build your further understanding over it so that's all about journal ledger sub ledger and uh, i can say now you got the understanding what is the oracle financial overview okay how they are interlinked like journal ledger and sub ledger if you have any questions with respect to this video please ask in the comment section or if you have any comment also you can definitely give your comments we would love to hear your comments thank you so much for your time and take